everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an absolutely mind-blowing topic to discuss. What if I told you that black holes, those mysterious objects we've all heard about, might not exist at all? Stay tuned as we dive into this incredible new discovery. Researcher shows that black holes do not exist. Black holes have fascinated us for decades, appearing in everything from Star Trek to Hollywood blockbusters. They are known as the most mysterious and dense objects in the universe from which not even light can escape. But now, there's a twist. They might not exist. Professor Laura Mersini Houghton from UNC Chapel Hill has mathematically proven that black holes can never form in the first place. This revolutionary work not only forces scientists to rethink the fabric of space-time, but also the origins of the universe itself. I'm still not over the shock, said Mersini Houghton. We've been studying this problem for more than 50 years, and this solution gives us a lot to think about. For years, we believed black holes formed when a massive star collapsed under its own gravity into a single point in space known as a singularity. An invisible boundary called the event horizon was thought to surround the singularity, creating a point of no return where nothing could escape. However, black holes have always posed a problem because they clash with two fundamental theories. Einstein's theory of gravity, which predicts their formation and quantum theory, which states that no information can ever truly disappear. This conflict is known as the information loss paradox. In 1974, Stephen Hawking showed that black holes emit radiation, now known as Hawking radiation. This discovery led scientists to identify many black hole candidates throughout the universe based on their radiation signatures. But Mersini Houghton presents a new scenario. While she agrees that a collapsing star emits Hawking radiation, she demonstrates that this radiation causes the star to lose so much mass that it never reaches the density needed to form a black hole. Instead, the star swells one last time and then explodes, never forming a singularity or an event horizon. In essence, there is no such thing as a black hole. Her paper, recently submitted to ArcSieve, offers exact numerical solutions to this problem, in collaboration with Harold Pfeiffer from the University of Toronto. Another paper by Mersini Houghton, published in Physics Letters B, provided approximate solutions to the same problem. While experimental evidence is still needed to prove whether black holes truly exist, Mersini Houghton insists that the mathematics are conclusive. This finding could drastically change our understanding of the universe. Many physicists believe our universe began from a singularity with the Big Bang. But if singularities don't exist, we might have to rethink the entire concept of the Big Bang. Physicists have been trying to merge Einstein's theory of gravity and quantum mechanics for decades, but this scenario brings these two theories together in harmony, said Mersini Houghton, and that's a big deal. For more mind-blowing content on space and science, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.